Hello and welcome back to another vlog. Um, I don't know if you can see but behind me here is a really big mess because today is an important day. I am moving to another dorm room. I'm staying in my dormitory but I will be moving in with Momoko and I'm really excited for that actually. It's around noon right now and at 5 p.m. some dormitory assistant is coming to just check my room to see if everything is clean and I emptied all my things. So until then we have to have all the stuff over in the other room. And yeah, that's why we gotta keep going now because here is a lot of things that have to be moved. So I'm actually not moving far, this here is my dorm room right now and I'm moving down the hallway just like there somewhere. So yeah, first of all we're gonna check how the room looks right now, if I have to do some more cleaning or if it's okay. Okay, I'm just seeing that they have the wardrobe and everything in a totally different position than I used to have. So I'm not sure if I maybe want to completely move that. First I should close the door. Yes, I'm considering of moving this completely. And the other yeah, I think I'll move this. And I want to move this desk over here. Also, I have a Christmas ornaments on the window. We'll try to remove them during the next days maybe as well. Yeah. Okay. Um, apart from that, I will just clean the shelves, I think. But it looks alright. It does not look too dirty or something. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is clean this, clean this, and clean the floor. And then I'm gonna get my fridge. I'm not actually thinking I will leave it like this. I really don't like that this cable is just hanging up like this. So I have to see if I can do something about that as well. I did a kind of cleaning, I wiped a bit everywhere here and now the first thing we're gonna do is get my fridge from my old room to my new room. I'm not sure yet how that will go because I'm doing this alone but we'll try our best. <laughs> so we have to get one of the cards that we can use for moving and I hope they're still where I saw them yesterday. Oh, they were here, now they're gone. There's only one of our drum cuts. <laughs> Annyeong. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna change my shoes and I'm gonna start searching for a cart. Yesterday there were like three standing there. 
I was really hoping they're still there, but... <laughs> okay, guys, I found the cards. Um, now we're gonna try to get this fridge on there. I will try to do that alone. If I really seem like I cannot do it, then I'll wait until Momoko comes home later today and she'll have to help me. <laughs> And we made it to phase one. <laughs> guys i'm already sweating <laughs> um i got my fridge over here i'm still not sure if it's actually back on i oh, know it's making a noise now okay perfect because i'm using one of the what are they called in english one of the like multiple plugs that already has been here in the room and it's lighting up and everything so it should work but at first the fridge didn't make a sound so I was not sure and now I got all these boxes that I have to bring into the room I decided first I will just bring everything into the new room I will sort the stuff later I will just have it here for now because most importantly is that I clean the old room so that when at 5 p.m. the dormitory system comes it's clean um, yeah, and then we'll do more in here. Okay, and going back to my old room to get the next things. I think I'll just get all the stuff my, from my old room now and then I'll get back to you guys. <laughs> okay guys, just giving you an update of the current situation. I have basically nearly all my stuff already over here. These clothes I just carried on the hangers from the old room to the new room. And now I will get the last few things that are still left in my old room and I will start cleaning the old room. Okay, this is it. I am done with cleaning my half of the room and ready to fully move into the new room. <laughs> Okay, it's getting better. I already got all my clothes sorted and now I'm starting to put all the things in here and organize my desk and yeah, hopefully I'll soon feel like I'm back home again.
yeah, so this is the current situation and this is how it will stay for today. Um, next week I'm going to buy some stuff for decorating, I need to buy some other stuff as well, I will show you. Um, right now down here I still have a lot of cables that I have to figure out what to do with. But apart from that, I already really like it. Hello, hello! I've been living here for about two weeks now and I started decorating yesterday. Um, I put up all my photo booth pictures in the corner here and today I'm gonna finally make my vision board for this year. So I printed all of these pictures here and we're gonna make them into a collage and put them here on the shelf the back of the shelf. And I know it's already March and I'm a little bit late with making vision boards, but I figured better late than never and I already printed the pictures anyway. And I didn't want to put them up on my wall before I was moving, so I had to wait until I moved. And then the last two weeks were super busy with some other things. So now finally we're getting to it and we're gonna do that today. Okay, I finished assembling all of it and now I took a picture of it and now we're going to put it on the wall. Um, I decided to not put it at the back of the shelf but over my bed because I think that the colors of the pictures, the color scheme goes nicer with our wallpaper color here which is this like light blue and the uh, back of the shelf. Okay, we are done. It's all on the wall. So and now I'd say I officially moved in and I'll give you a small room tour of my half of the room. So this is my half. Down here we have some drawers where I just keep my bags and other things that I didn't know where to put else. Here is my um, wardrobe. So, which looks like this. I keep my dirty clothes in these white baskets and down here is a drawer as well where I keep my underwear and my socks. And here I got my fridge and my suitcase. My cups that I use like every day as well as some cutlery and things. And my very important water bottles. And this is my desk area. I actually really like the setup so I put all the photo booth pictures up here. I still did not remove the Christmas ornaments. I will do that in the near future. And then my cables all disappear down here, so there is a cable mess down here, but I cannot see it, so that's fine. Maybe I'll organize that later. Down here we have a drawer where I keep my old laptop, and here are these two drawers where I keep like documents and smaller things. This is the book I'm tr currently trying to read, but it's in Korean, so it takes me some time. And these are my shelves. So up here I keep my books and 
here is just some like, technology stuff, um, chargers, cables, camera equipment. Then down here is more like a makeup area. And also, I will show you. I can turn on the lights here. And then it lights up. You cannot see it right now as well because it's not dark. And on here I just have some beauty stuff and food. And here I keep my trash and my yoga mat. And we have this storage as well. Where I keep my towels and some of my clothes, like bottoms, um, pants, skirts, and cleaning supplies. And we have a shower room and a private toilet as well. It's um, divided on one side is the toilet, on the other side. Um, on this side is the toilet, on this side is the shower room and the sink. And yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna talk about my vision board and my goals a bit more, but maybe first of all for the people who do not know what a vision board actually is. A vision board means you think about the goals you have for this year and you search pictures for them or somehow something that represents them and you make a board that you can see every day, put it somewhere on your wall or maybe as your background on the computer and every day it will remind you which goals you set for this year and it's supposed to help you focus and I'm a very visual type so it helps me a lot and since it's already March I figured I will go with you through my goals for this year and also see how well I'm doing this far so first of all we have some corner for study because this is my last year of graduate school so I will have to write my thesis. I also need to study Korean hard so study has to be a high priority this year. Um, then we have the workout or fitness area. For me it's actually mainly dancing and just moving a lot and I would say in this case I'm doing pretty well so far because I've been dancing a lot during the past days but let's see I'll check again and after the semester ends and see how I did during the semester but so far I would say I'm doing pretty well then very important for me I did a self-care corner as well um, I usually did not drink enough water like for me it was good if I already drank like a liter per day it was a lot which I know is not healthy but this year I've been doing quite well so far. I'm drinking my two liter, two and a half liter every day usually, which I'm very proud of. And I can tell it's doing a lot for my skin and my body. And then I also want to start doing more meditation, but to be honest so far I've not been very good at that. I hope I can make that a habit during this year though. Then down here we have a small YouTube corner. Last year because I was so busy of um, so busy with classes and with other things I did not really focus on my YouTube but I really like doing YouTube so I want to do that more this year and try to focus on that also during the semester and put it as one of my priorities and then next to that there is a little travel corner as well um, I've been living in Korea in total now for two years. One year was during COVID, so I could not really travel outside of Korea. But now another year went by and I still haven't visited any other Asian countries. Yeah, I would like to try and see some other Asian countries as well since I'm so close to them and I don't want to be only in my Korean bubble. However, that's also always a question of money, so I have to see. But I have some not so sure plans yet of maybe going to Japan this year, so there would be a start at least. And then lastly, it's a bit personal, but um, it's for my relationship. I've been dating with my boyfriend for nearly eight months now, and so far in my life this has been the longest and also the most healthiest relationship, and I'm very, very happy that I met him. Um, I have to ask him if I'm allowed, maybe another time I will do some video where I tell you how I met him and how the whole story went, but I have to ask him first. But even though everything is going well with him, I know we have to focus on having a healthy relationship, a healthy communication. So that's definitely a priority this year as well. That's why I did not want to leave that out of my vision board. Yeah, and these are my goals for this year. So far, I think all in all, I've been doing quite well, but there are some goals that I still have to work on. Um, 
If you want to, you could share some of your goals with me in the comments. I would be really interested in reading them. And I wish all of you, even though I'm a bit late, a very happy 2024 and that everything that you want to happen will happen and that you will have a good year. <laughs> Yeah, so thank you very much for watching my dormitory move-in vlog and if you like it then leave a subscribe and a like and i hope i'll see you in the next video bye